the holy and the ivy. When they are both full grown, of all the trees that are in the wood, the holly bears the crown, and the rising of the sun, and the roaring of the deer, the playing of the merry organ, sweet singing all in the choir. Now the holly bears a blossom, as white as the lily flower and Mary bore sweet Jesus Christ to be our sweet Saviour and the rising of the sun and the rolling of the deer the playing of the merry organ sweet singing all in the choir now the holly bears a berry as red as any blood and Mary bore sweet Jesus Christ to do poor sinners good And the rising of the sun And the rolling of the deer The playing of the merry organ Sweet singing all in the choir And the holly bears a bark As bitter as any gall And Mary bore sweet Jesus Christ for to redeem us all and the rising of the sun and the rolling of the deer the playing of the merry organ sweet singing all in the choir now the holly bears a prickle as sharp as any thorn and mary bore sweet jesus christ on christmas day in the morn and the rising of the sun and the rolling of the deer the playing of the merry organ, sweet singing all in the choir. The holly and the ivy, when they are both full grown, of all the trees that are in the wood, the holly bears a crown, and the rising of the sun, and the rolling of the deer. The playing of the merry organ, sweet singing all in the choir, and the rising of the sun, and the rolling of the deer. The playing of the merry organ, sweet singing all in the choir. Some people think it's one of the oldest English carols and it's got a lot of pagan um, imagery. There's big debates about how old it is and whether it's actually a Victorian carol. The version we sang was, uh, I suppose, a, a less known tune to non-folky people. It's a more um, manly version, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. The holly yeah. and the ivy, that kind of thing. Yeah, you don't sing that kind of tune in church. Apparently there's, there's dozens of different tunes you can sing that to. Um, yeah, we, we like just sing it to, to uh, you can sing the National Anthem, you can sing it to the Benny Hill theme. There's all sorts of variations. But we like that version, don't we? Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Is that traditional to the North East, that version? Um, I think it's, it's, one of the, it's one of the Sheffield carols. The Sheffield carols are an incredible uh, collection of, of more singable uh, tunes to, to well-known carols. And that's a great one to sing with yeah. Gusto, really, when you when you're surrounded yeah. by... Uh, People who, who uh, enjoy seeing the Christmas stuff and Christmas time is fantastic. So, it was, uh, so we like that version. We like a bit of gusto. We do. He's not here, unfortunately, today. But <laughs> <laughs> he's our mascot. You'll see him in 2012. You shouldn't have let that slip, Michael. Sorry, it is. <laughs> There's a great tradition on, um, in a, in a, in a um, place called Greetham, which is near Hartlepool. <clears throat> and every Boxing Day, um, all, all of the folk singers in the North East come together in this one pub. And the singing is absolutely fantastic. It's mainly the Christmas stuff. Yeah. Um, but there's that great, that great day of, of everybody celebrating Christmas through folk song and the tradition is absolutely uh, yeah, terrific, it's, isn't it? So I think it's, it's kind of become a tradition. It was a revivalist thing in, in the 60s. Uh, the Red Cas Sword dancers started um, re, redoing the, the Grief and Sword dancing and they're performing at noon um, outside the church gates every year. But it's become such a big thing for us and our families and our friends to to go and after the sword dance to have a, a good drink and a good sing in the pub. What's really good about that is everyone just sings really loudly but there's no um, embargo on talking, you know, you go to a lot of folk clubs and quite rightly, you know, everyone has to be quiet but this is just a celebration so you'll get really loud singers and you'll and sing in these, you know, belting out these songs like the Wilsons, you know, heroes of ours, the Wilsons and uh, you'll just get people just chatting and 
you know, in, in, in the other corner, it's absolutely brilliant. It's very natural, isn't it? It's good. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. You've got quite a large repertoire of Christmas songs. Are you planning on ever recording them? Uh, oh, I'm not sure. Uh, we never seem to do many Christmas concerts, really. We, we, we did a few a couple of years ago, and four of them learned a big heap of songs. No, we no one invited us to perform. Yeah, I mean, Christmas, uh, it always seems to get so. too late in the air, and we think, oh, we should have really tried to get some more Christmas yeah. gigs. But we love just <coughs> going in, in the pubs in uh, in Hartlepool at Christmas time and, and, and singing them, and, and these wassailing songs that you mentioned. Um, that we, we love them because they're, they're kind of less about Jesus and reams of angels. And more about uh, drinking. Yeah, and apples and beer and... Exactly. I don't know whether we'll re record a Christmas song, because it's difficult to say, because it's really, like, it's all dates, doesn't it? You'd have to sell it, you only really sell it at a set time. And to be honest, because we're a very commercial group, where there's no way that, you know, with X Factor taking the Christmas number one all the time, there's no way we're going to get it, is there? There's not much point trying, to be honest. Well, yeah. It would be a lot better than the offerings we have at the moment. Right. <laughs> when you wake up on Christmas morning, what are you hoping to find in your stocking? Dave Nagel. <laughs> Singing me a wassail. <laughs> I was going to say Michael Hughes. That, oh, says, right, that right, says a lot about us, doesn't it, really? Yeah. Dispelling those oh, rumours, Dave. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> no, none of us wanted Sean Cooney, though. What, what does that say? Uh, well, I sleep in my socks anyway, so I hope my foot would be... Yeah, what the heck is Father <laughs> Christmas molesting your foot in the middle of the night, Mr Cooney? Dear, dear. I, don't know. Uh, I don't know what we're supposed to say, world peace or... Oh yeah, world peace in my sock. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do with it if you found world peace in your sock? How would you get it out there to the masses? I don't know is the answer to that. We'll have to put that as a secret track on the, on the new Christmas album for next year, I mean. <laughs> World peace uh, in my sock. I don't I am... We don't normally have, I don't know what you guys, we don't normally have yeah, stockings on Christmas Day in our house, oh. unbelievably. No, it's all um, have very low key, very mm. religious. Yeah. And we certainly don't give each other presents. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> so, no secret Santa between what, the three of you. One of our only rules, yeah. <laughs>